guys welcome back to my channel good morning i literally woke up today i'm like i need to post this reading period so today's reading is what do your siblings think about you this actually was a recommendation from one of you guys i forgot sorry but um please comment like subscribe share to this period let's get this started so here we have pound number one pound number two pound number three and pound number four Please meditate on these so we could get some exact answers. Isabella already picked her pile. She said that this is her pile right here. <laughs> so let's see how everything is going to go. So for the viewers that picked pile number one, this is your reading for today on what do your siblings think about you? This is a really, really different, funny pick a card reading. Um, Let's see how it turns out how it turns out like let's see what's going on like what do your siblings think about you pal number one let's see so they definitely think that you probably were the oldest child for some that's what i'm getting if you weren't the oldest child you probably went through a lot of like working working at a young age you probably was a teen mom and you had to work a lot or you had to take care of your siblings a lot when you were when you were younger or you had a lot of responsibilities to take care of but they remember you as being somebody very very hard working definitely you guys they associate you with some sort of pain some sort of loss some sort of you know so i'm getting that you guys are a really really good sibling you are a good sibling because i feel like they they know that you care that you've worked hard that you probably made some sacrifices for your siblings in the past and they do remember that so that's what i have here to tell you that they do recognize your efforts they recognize your tears and your sweat and they recognize everything you do and they're really proud of you they just wish that you know you would put more of this energy towards yourself that's what i'm getting here pal number one let's get more messages six of wands the sun and the high priestess in reverse so it's like this heavy feeling of you know you're really loved pile number one by your siblings um you probably have a few siblings but i don't know i feel like everybody loves you like everybody loves your company all of them if you have a couple siblings they like they love your energy they're always looking forward to seeing you and bringing you around I feel like you're you're always bringing that happy into the family, into the circle. Um, another thing is, is like you could keep a secret. I feel like they can trust you. With the high priestess in reverse, like I get somebody intuitive. But when I, get, when I get it in reverse, I always get somebody that is really good with secrets. Somebody that can hold it down. So that's what your siblings think about you too. You're very honest, loyal. Like you're... Uh, you're a really good person. You're like a second mom to, to some of your siblings or to your siblings. Heartache and loss in reverse. We got emotional withdrawal. And we got base chakra. This also tells me that I was correct about the losses that they associate you with. It's because I feel like a lot of the struggles that you had in your family growing up i feel like you were mostly in charge of handling stuff i feel like there was a lot of pressure for you to like grow up and then now that you're older it's like hard, harder for you to make other relationships other than the ones in your family this is for some that's like a clear message like some of you guys are isolated from other people because you feel like a lot of people don't understand you but it's like your family brings a, a different level of comfort for you that's what i'm getting here pal number one um let's get more cards the sun again man holding a coin second chakra archangel it's this energy of you having it all together i feel like you're your siblings really do look up to you for some reason because you are just you you bring you, you bring the full package you, it's like it's like this motherly vibe that i'm getting with this group like you guys just 
you know what's right from wrong but you know how to party you can be loyal you can be down it's like you're very appreciated from those around you you're very appreciated from your siblings and i feel like they love you pound number one so they love you and they appreciate everything you do for them that's what i'm getting let's get more cards page of swords again the death card and then we got the eight of swords so overall the energy is that you know they feel like they've taken a part of your childhood you know they i feel like they stressed you out a lot i feel like they recognize that you probably went through a lot growing up because you always try to be there for them or be extra for them or be like a mother for your siblings that's what i'm getting for some and they understand that and they know probably all the hardships that you went through now that they are grown and they have their own kids for some i feel like now they realize how much effort you put into taking care of the family so you're very appreciated pal number one wow this is amazing pal number one you are really a good sibling let's get some guided advice for you today yes let's get some guided advice for you today pal number one Let's get some guided advice for you today. Let's get some guided advice for you today. The energy is gaining momentum. So I don't know what kind of energy you're in right now, pal number one, but whatever it is, you are in the correct path. It's gaining momentum. The universe is giving you your blessings which you deserve period let me get one more message one more advice message for my pal number one you and your loved ones are safe that's what i'm getting so don't worry about the pandemic don't worry about anything that you don't need to worry about okay money nothing you and your loved ones are safe pal number one and that's all for today thank you guys bye so for the viewers that picked pile number two with the diamond, Isabella also picked this. So I'm excited to see what the message is in here for. So what do your siblings think about you? Let's find out today. Off the bat, a lot of pressure. I don't know if you're like pile number one that a lot of people, you had like a, a lot of things to do while you had to grow up. You had to take care of a lot of your siblings. I don't know, but let's find out. Four of Cups. King of Wands and Two of Wands. Okay. Well, I'm getting more like a... Okay, so you probably had like two siblings or one. Um, I'm getting a lot of spoiled energy here with pile number two. Um, definitely, you are the diamond group. So, you know, maybe your, your siblings think that you're a little spoiled. Maybe you're like on the younger side, pile number two maybe you're the youngest or like middle to young but um i'm getting like this energy of you just being very spoiled and them thinking that you're spoiled but you know it's like this energy of you know she worries about herself she gets it done you know it's like this energy that you do worry about yourself you get your stuff together it's like you're all put together you get it done for yourself it's, it's more like a selfish energy. You know what I'm saying? So they might call you like the cocky brat or something. Pile number two. Sorry. Um, let's get more messages into what else? Four of Swords. Knight of Swords. And we got King of Swords. So heavy swords energy. This is like... It's like you probably had had a lot of arguments with your with your siblings in the past. It's a lot of fights between you and your siblings, but I feel like they see you as somebody a little bit arrogant. You know, like maybe you always think you're right in an argument. That's what they think. Like you're always right, and there's like no arguing with you because you're always right. Um, your siblings also think that you know. As I told you earlier, you have it all together for your stuff because you are this king, this knight. You are this um, powerful being. But um, it's like, you know, they're also bringing about the bad about you. That you're a little cocky about it. That, yeah, that person's successful. But they ignorant as hell. <laughs> um, that might not be true because 
I feel like siblings, they be having their own little problems. And, like, siblings, I feel like they either get jealous of each other. But it's, like, all love at the end. It's, like, a light, a light kind of vibe. You know, I'm getting here with this group. I feel like your siblings are also, like, a little jealous that maybe they didn't get as much as attention as you did. Maybe that's why you act the way you act and they blame it on you being spoiled for for the way that you act but in reality i'm getting here for this group it's just that you don't hold your tongue for nobody and, and if you have to stand up for yourself if that means talking back to your older siblings or your parents you'll do it period let's get more messages on what do your siblings think about you recognition and reward wisdom patient it's this energy of them thinking that you know you have it all together you are this powerful person you got your rec recognition your rewards you have been working for your fruits and you've been patient so they know that you have it all together and for some reason they say you're arrogant, but low-key, they do feel like you're very wise. They feel like you're mature for your age. They feel... So, they judge you for things. That's what I'm waiting for this part. They judge you for things, but then at the at the end of the tunnel in their head, they're always like, yeah, but, you know, low-key, they're right. Low-key, you know, it's like that. It's just... I don't know if you were the youngest sibling, but that's why they, they always trying to knock what you say down. But I feel like you don't let it happen. But either way, you have your respect, pound number two. That's what I'm getting. You have your respect. Let's get hostilities, journey, and po and adjacent possibilities. Because you make it happen, pound number two. That's the energy. Your siblings think that whatever you put your head to, it could either be anything. It could be the dumbest thing in the world. But you get it done. You surprise people. You're an overachiever. When you get shit done, you get it done. Even if you got to ha act hostile. Or come out with your arrogance energies, pal number two. But you got it done, period. And that's what your what your siblings think about you, that you a handful, but the possibilities for you are endless because you are this accomplisher, successful drive. Like, you have, like, this drive within you that is going to take you far, pal number two. Let's get some more messages on what pal number two siblings might think about them. We got Page of Wands again. We got the Hierophant and Ace of Wands. Definitely, it's like this new, fresh of breath air. You're definitely a younger sibling. I, I kept getting that. But if not, you're either a middle child, pound number, pound number two. But it's like this energy of, yeah, you're younger. Yeah, you probably don't have as many experiences as your other siblings but you give off this hierophant energy this wise person this person that could can come up can uh, could come up with decisions period like you can definitely come up with decisions and you're just like a brand new fresh of ideas for the family for the energy period let's get some advice cards for you pal number two though can we get some advice cards for you pal number two some advice cards for my pound number two. Some advice cards for my pound number two. Some advice cards. Let's go. A new romantic cycle begins. I don't know if you guys been talking to somebody. Y'all been y'all been dating somebody, going out with somebody, getting to know somebody, but whoever this is, mmm. A romantic cycle soon begins for you guys. I'm super excited. Let, yes, let love come in. Let love come in. Let's get one more advice card for my pal number two. One more advice card for my pal number two. Your dreams need a practical plan. So, you know, I said you, you had this drive, pal number two. But if you want something very specific, you better get to the writing, to the planning, period because it's possible and it's waiting for you so whatever it is you have in your mind go after it because it's been waiting for you and it's there and that's all for today bye guys so for the viewers that picked pound number three with this green adventure on what do your siblings think about you let's find out today super excited for this <laughs> awesome reading pretty weird but you know we get it um they just think that you crazy as hell. <laughs> they think you crazy as hell. I don't know if it's some of the decisions you've made in your in your past. 
what you be doing or it's because you 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 drink a lot for some of you guys or you just love to party but you crazy as hell they can't even get a hold of you they saying bipolar i'm getting crazy stuff here um i'm just getting you guys have just a lot of energy you just you just bring the life to the life that's all pile number three and there's nothing to be ashamed about or apologetic for you are the life of the party period i feel like your siblings um they get to see different sides of you i feel like they know that you only put this one side of you outside in the real world and then when you're with everybody yeah you got this these different crazy sides that they just can't get a hold of that's what they're saying but um lovely energy here you probably for some you probably had two sisters, you're probably twins, or you had two other siblings, or you're the third child, you're the youngest, the middle. That's what I'm getting for some. Let's get some messages here on um, what else do they siblings think about them. Seven of Wands in reverse, Page of Swords, and Nine of Swords. Like, heavy energy. Like, the same thing that I was talking about. You guys are, like... You don't let nothing come into your come in the way of your attitude. It's like there's nothing that is too much for you to handle. Oh, you want to talk crazy? Oh, I can handle that. Oh, you you want me to talk to your lawyer? Oh, I could do that. You want me to go to the bank for you? Oh, I could do that. So it's like you're a mix of everything. You can get everything done. You could be a fighter in the streets, a lady in the sheets, a wife in the kitchen, a mother in the... I don't know. You get what I'm saying. It's like you got it all. Like you could do it all. Like Nothing is too, too much for you with the seven of wands in reverse. Page of stories. You guys, like... I feel like your siblings also think that you're also quick to to care about other people more than you care about yourself. Like, you probably, even with your other friends, maybe your siblings have told you that you give a fuck too much about your friends. Or maybe, like, some of your friends don't deserve you. That's what I'm getting. Like, some of them understand that maybe when, when you're put through certain situations is because sometimes you give too much about yourself and you're too nice. That's the message that I'm getting here. Maybe you had a sibling that was advising you to stop being so goddamn nice. I don't know. That's the message that I'm getting. That's pretty clear for some. I'm really running out of fucking breath right now talking about this because there's a lot of messages but um you guys are definitely that sibling that anybody can count on that's the energy can count on responsible fun it's like you're, you're missed At family reunions everybody's asking about you you're missed pile number three you bring the life into everything let's get more messages temptation prosperity begins and material harvest so with the temptation it's like you know i, I also get this like you know that you drink a lot or you probably smoke or the temptation you probably you know go back to your exes a lot that's what they be talking about like damn this person is going back with this person again something like that but prosperity begins in material harvest it's like you're also very successful you got a good head on your shoulders pile number three you get it together that's why i told you earlier you you was like this full package you could do anything you got it all together you that perfect person <laughs> I'll be saying perfect person sometimes in my readings because sometimes it's too much for me to like, sometimes there are perfect people, believe it or not. Am I the one to say who's perfect and who's not? No, but um, here, part number three, the cards are demonstrating you are a perfect person. You are a perfect person because you handle yourself in a humanly correct manner. I don't even know how to say humanly, but y'all get what I'm saying. Like, you carry yourself correctly into this universe that's why things are handed to you that's why you always get what you want period pound number three and if you don't now you will get everything you want contract and reverse all tied up fifth chakra angel so it's definitely this energy of you guys always worrying about other people more about yourself you know and this is a lovely energy for some like wow this person is really caring i love them but sometimes it's not really good for yourself so yeah pal number three work on you know balancing out doing favors for family and stuff because yeah you're loved and appreciated but sometimes it it could be too much when the ones you love are always needing you sometimes you need yourself okay um let's get extra messages on what they siblings think about them so yeah so definitely i'm i'm getting like this energy of you guys always being there for your siblings you always being that helping hand 
always there for them but you don't have that same energy for yourself you see what i'm saying so this always leaves you in, a, in this unhappy energy and i feel like your siblings recognize this that sometimes you don't put enough effort into yourself than you do with others. And that's the energy right here. Are you blessed though, pile number pile number three? Yes, you are. You are blessed. And let me tell you something. Your siblings, they need you. <laughs> they, be, they be saying you do too much, but at the end of the day, they do need you. And they appreciate what you do for them, honestly. Sometimes I feel like one of your other siblings might feel bad for always asking you to do favors for them or taking care of their kids for them. But I feel like at the end, you know, it makes them, it makes them feel bad. It makes them feel bad, but they're very grateful for you. Let's get some advice cards for my pile number three. Whoa, this card just flew out. Have faith in your dreams. So pile number three, if you've been having some dreams lately, if you still contemplating about your old dreams and what you wanted to do as a child, please go for it. It's waiting for you. That's my message here. That message is pretty clear. Whatever you want to do, that new business idea, that million dollar idea, that new gym membership, anything that's coming across your head, that new dress you wanted to buy, that new tell far bag you want to buy, period, buy it. That's the energy I'm getting. Let's get some advice cards for my pile number three. Some extra advice cards for my pile number three. Some extra advice cards for my pile number three. Your hard work is paying off. So regardless of what you do, pile number three, it is all going into fruition, period, because you worked hard for what you have. And the universe, they get your energy. They get what you're communicating they get your efforts okay pal number three so everything will be working out in your favor and that's the message for today bye guys last but not least my pal number four what do your siblings think about you let's find out today let's see some of you guys were only child that's what I'm getting heavy here. Only child energy. If not, you only had one other sibling or another half sibling. That's what I'm getting for some of you guys. Um, This heavy energy of... You being... You being for yourself. That's what I'm getting for some of you guys. You probably just have half siblings or stepbrothers and stepsisters. But um, you embody this energy of like self-awareness, like self-confidence, self-like love. I'm getting heavily with this pile. You're so you're so sure of yourself, pile number four. That's what I'm getting here. Your sibling or your siblings. They think that you're very beautiful, um, that you're probably the best dressed in the household, best dressed, best put together, period, best in looks. So that's what they think about you, pile number four. Let's get more messages. Knight of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, and Ten of Wands in reverse. So definitely this feeling of you guys just, you know, that's why I got this heavy feeling like, you know, you probably... Don't live with your siblings or didn't live with your siblings because you guys, you came out so different. That's what they think about you, that you came out so different and you came out like the best. Like you probably have a lot of income or your money is together, but they can see that from a distance regardless. And they feel like you really came out good regardless of what kind of background you came from or what family you guys came from that you turned out pretty well that's the message let's get more messages fulfillment of wishes patience and planning and passion ignited so definitely you guys are that sibling that is successful rich basically have their own business own entrepreneur own own a channel you guys are your own person and i feel like that's very like inspirational for your siblings and also like very it makes them proud 
of the family they are from um it makes them believe that they can do anything so you fulfilling your wishes power number four is like guiding the rest of your family and it's so beautiful because i see it um they definitely believe that you're an overachiever that you escalate quickly that everything you just do you just you just have passion for it and that's why it just just grows that's what i'm getting they also feel like you will be very successful in the future if you're not already let's get more messages strategy in reverse we got woman holding a heart and walking away so yeah i feel like some of you guys had to achieve a lot of the things that you achieved by walking away from those that you love maybe moving away from a moving to a foreign country or moving away from your from your siblings or your family but i feel like at the end of the day they know that you love them and it's a lot of mutual love here that's what i feel like it's a lot of love and compassion and a lot of support so just because you guys are probably far away from those that you love doesn't mean that they don't care about you that's the message here i feel like they also think that you're very lovable um that you're like this butterfly like that you just flourish like you just grew like a butterfly and i feel like also they know that the connection between you and your sibling or it, it will never like fade let's get some extra messages the last extra messages strength king one so yeah you definitely bring like this strength into the family that's what i'm getting here pile number one you bring like this wow like if anything is possible energy into the family because of your strive and your drive period pound number four i love this energy and your siblings they love that you stand into your power they love how everything is in order with you like how you able to plan things for the long run and you just bring the strength into the family this push forward period you make your ancestors proud. That's another message, pound number one. And a pound number four that I'm getting. Let's get some advice cards for my pound number four, though. Let's get some advice cards for my pound number four. Let's get some advice cards for my pound number four. Show the world the real you so continue to show the world the real you pile number four don't be ashamed don't let confidence issues low self-esteem a little weight make you feel bad about yourself you got this and the world is in your hand that's another message i don't even get that message a lot like the world is in your hand but the world is in your hand pile number four let's get a, one more advice card for my pile number four an advice card for my pile number four a new start is coming this is beautiful. So hold on to your seatbelt because a new journey is coming in. A new plan, a new idea, a new home, new pet. Something new is on its way, pound number four. And the universe is just asking for you to please wait for it with your hands wide open. I mean, arms, not hands. But that's all for today. Bye, guys. Oh.